name is Jenny and I'm here in... I'm having an interview with this brand, Urban Circus, and here is the, the, one of the designers. But how did you... why did you... your name, Urban Circus? Urban Circus. Why? Uh, well, urban, I think you can guess, <laughs> yeah. the city and stuff, because we are it's more casual clothing. Not sporty, it's when you are going to the office mm -hmm. and yeah, exactly. uh, do some commuting yeah. and, uh, and more fashion because uh, fashion comes from uh, Paris is famous for that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> how does it feel like to, how does it affect you to live in Paris, like in the city of fashion? Like, it's give like some inspiration yeah. as well, but also like the rebel part because uh, it's luxury fashion mm. it's sometimes in winter mm. because our main product is designed for winter when yeah. it's night uh, exactly. early when mm. you go to work it's always night so you need to be uh, seen in the dark uh, but in winter in Paris you have lots of yeah high luxury clothing but it's mm. dark yeah it's, exactly. uh, yeah, it's brown true. black navy yeah. blue mm. And few of that are like fluorescent, flashy and stuff. Mm. And when we, yeah. and that's the idea of urban circus. It's the circus is the colors, mm -hmm. fluorescent, and mm -hmm. you have to play with reflective fluorescent fabric. Uh, over like the idea is to go on the fashion tech yeah. part. So for Paris, we are a bit late on that. Mm -hmm. Fashion is okay, but tech is uh, different. Lots of German brands, uh, American brands are mm. famous for the in the fashion tech uh, yeah. industry. Yeah. Mm. Some yeah. sensors into the jacket, and that would be the idea to make uh, technical fabric, technical jackets, not just technical and useful, but also fashion. Yeah, exactly. So it feels like this is something different compared to the other brands, actually. Exactly. Like, That's it's the like difference. colors, and it's like. <laughs> exactly, and the yeah. part we have, the useful part, so it can be useful for you because I mean, we are talking about riders, mm -hmm. but when you are walking in the street, like just with your phone, texting, you just cross yeah. the footpath, I don't know, some, right. maybe a car is coming from the, your right and you didn't hear it because now it's electric cars, yeah. you don't hear the engine, so it can be something like that, but it's fun in the street. Yeah, exactly. You are part of the urban circus community. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> yes. Okay, so to the final question, but uh, if it's not something else you want to add to your collection or uh, something, yes, something we I missed. There is the... Why well, after... When I... We are working on different projects yeah. and we have this one as well, which is quite, you know... Uh, and it's trend, the trend, like the bomber style yeah. and stuff. So you can, most of the people like who, who bought this jacket were just wearing it on this side because but it's really soft. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and sometimes when they are going outside and after, after work or whatever, yeah. finish working, they go on the crazy part. <laughs> with exactly. the graffiti and stuff, but normally it's not my style. Maybe I don't have to wear it because it's pretty really <laughs> sexy. But it's super cool. It's super cool. But just with the uh, here we work on reflective ink, so yeah. you will have words from. It's a French, French words from the street like raps. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Graffiti and stuff. So this is reflected. This is exactly, this is reflective when you have the light and, and stuff. So it says good thing and love stories as well mm. <laughs> from people in the street. So after the idea would be to, to go on other designs and stuff. Because for now, for a bomber like this one, we just have one color. Yeah, exactly. One style. It's a question of budget. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you work a lot with Uber Eats, you told me before. Yes, actually, we uh, we try to work also for you know this new kind of 
business which are delivery business exactly. so writers who deliver you the food and stuff so and it's a good community like the people mm. who are writing this kind who are going to deliver food with the bikes yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a style, they have a style, they wear their caps mm. and stuff, they are part of the community as well, so that's the thing we want to do with them yeah. as well. Yeah, it's good. And <laughs> uh, you, your website, they, you can find some clothes there? or Yes, exactly. Yes. You can buy four, four designs for now. Mm. Yeah, there is Indiegogo as well, it's a marketplace okay. where you can find the new one with the which, flashing uh, which website? In Diego Go. In Diego Go. In okay. Diego Go, yes. <laughs> okay, yes. It's uh, kind of same as Kickstarter, mm -hmm. but uh, it's the following step because Kickstarter is like a short term. Short term. Yeah. It's just the time of your time of okay. your campaign, mm -hmm. and after it moves on in Diego Go time to go. Mm -hmm. It's like a pre sales pre order, early birds. Mm. So people can have really good price because it's early birds, and after when you're gonna go on production, Yeah. Uh, you have the retail price yeah. and stuff. So you make your clothes here in France or...? Yeah, exactly. All yes. the designs are made here. In Paris? In Paris. Yes, okay, here. In this room. Oh, that's so <laughs> A bit cool. in yes. the corner with the machine and stuff. Yeah. And uh, after we go in Asia to produce it because yeah. Asia is the good for reflective material yeah. and fluorescent material. Mm. It's hard to find someone who do great quality work. So yeah, of course. Yeah. Now we found the one. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. It's a bit uh, complex. Okay. So to the final question, what's your goals for two thousand seventeen? Two thousand seventeen. Yes. I finished the <laughs> in the production of the LED jackets. Yeah. And also go on the next collection, more trendy, more fashionable. Mm -hmm. uh, it's. Uh, I don't, there's a concept store in France, some concept store we want yeah. to target. Okay. Because for now we are exactly. in lots of uh, cycling stores, mobility mm. stores, but now we want to go on fashion more. Yeah. Like uh, Colette or yeah, okay. stuff oh, like that. Yes. <laughs> that's, <why laughs> that's how we design the, the jacket. I show you yeah, this one. So this one is designed. We're gonna do some collaboration with a street artist to put the graph in the frame and here you can put the name of the artist mm -hmm. and yeah. they were just limited edition of this one. Yeah, exactly. That's so cool. that's the design we would like to offer. This there. feels like a cloth jacket. Yeah. Like it can be <laughs> really hot. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If you ride with that, you need... Maybe for... No, some people like were also do, uh, buying it for ski, skiing. Yeah, okay. Friends, also you have the Alps. Mm, <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. Thank Henry, you, Jenny, <laughs> for having me here. Thank you f to listen to me and yes, ask me your question. It was, <laughs> it was like a monologue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> bye bye. bye. <laughs>